Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be cleaning my Corvette wheels. So they're the standard wheels that are on a C3 Corvette. And I'm going to be polishing the metal and then repainting the black uh, inner ring as well. So I'll show you some of the stuff that I'm going to be using. And I have no idea how long it's going to take. But I'm going to try one wheel at a time and see how it goes. So I'll show you what I have here. Yeah, so right here is one of the tires that I'm going to be cleaning. It is currently the right front tire, so I'm going to be cleaning the rubber and I'm obviously going to be cleaning the metal here. Um, it's a little bit dull and then I'm going to be refreshing that paint that's in the middle there. So I've got four of these wheels and tires that I want to do. So I'm going to give it a shot and see how it works. I've got a whole bunch of other projects on the go with my C3, so in the meantime and having a break, I'm going to try this. I'll show you some of the material that I'm going to use. It's all pretty simple, easy to get. I'm not 100% sure what paint I'm going to use, but I'm definitely be, going to be using uh, the Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish for the aluminum wheel. I'm not too sure what type of paint I'm going to be using, but likely it's going to be a semi-gloss black paint. I'm probably going to use this one, but we'll see. And I'm going to prime as well before I do it. I'm going to be using the shop towels as my cloths to do the polishing and if I do use this product here it'll be just for the inside of the wheel. So semi-gloss, semi-gloss black, a little bit of primer. Also I'm going to be using some super fine grit emery cloth or sandpaper just to do this here. Not that it really needs it, but before I prime it, I'm going to lightly go over this part here with the sandpaper and not really rough it up too much more than that. But we'll finish that once I polish this. So I'm going to polish this first, then prepare this, and then paint it. And it should be done. Additionally, I'm going to be using a pressure washer, and that is just to do the inside of the wheel. As you can see the inside of the wheel is a little bit dusty and dirty but not too bad for 44 years old and I'm just going to use a pressure washer to try and clean that up as much as possible. So that's not too bad. Got a lot of the dust off it and the black carbon look. So I'm happy with that for the amount of time that it took. Now it's going to be flipping it over and getting down to the real work.
Okay, a couple things that I've noticed is these have not been cleaned that often. They still have very fine machining grooves on them. So when I do polish it, instead of going this way against the grain, I'm going to be polishing it with the grain of the machinery. That way I'll keep the little machinery ridges in there and not work against those as well. So I'll be polishing in this direction for the entire part of it. And I'm going to break it down into sections like that do my polishing and work my way around the rim. So let's see if we can see a difference. The directions, finish should be clean, dry and cool, which it basically is. Rub polish into metal surface until black residue appears. Buff off residue with a clean towel, terry cloth, mic microfiber. Polish to drying. Hard rubbing is not necessary. So we'll give it a try. That's what it looks like. It's kind of like a, a pasty look. It's actually very um, buttery feeling, I guess. Super buttery feeling. See it's turning black there. Now I'm going to just polish it with this microfiber cloth and see how it looks.
definitely the easiest part to polish is along this surface on the top. It's a little bit difficult here and down on the bottom due to angles, angles and space available. These are not going to be finished to like a mirror-like finish. They're going to be finished to how they basically came out of the factory, which is kind of a flat aluminum look. Looks like I have a stain in this area. It's going to be tough to remove. Looks like it's gone. All right, that's the first application of polishing. And if anyone's wondering, because I've heard this before, what size tires you can get. For mine, they're P25-60R15s. And I use them, I run the same size on the front and the back. Gooch. How you doing? Pooch. Now I'm going to scuff up that paint in the middle just a little bit. Now I'm going to get set up to paint. See if I can get a nice line of tape around the edges there. The product I'm using is 3M Scotch Blue Painter Tape for delicate surfaces. It's really quite thin, but it's quite tacky as well, so it should be easy enough to make the shape that's required. And make sure that you have a good seal. You can run your finger around the base and that should seal it in nicely. So that's what we're looking at. And that will tape in that area very well. On to the priming. I've got this taped in. Raised up the tire on an angle. Putting some cardboard down underneath the overspray. It's great.
I'm using towels because they they kind of flop into place properly. And this is the only area that I need access to. And I'm just using a generic primer. That's it for the primer. We'll just let that dry and then we'll give it a first coat of the black paint. Well, the primer is nice and dry now. So I'm going to flash on some. This is what I'm going to use on this one. Rust-Oleum Semi-Gloss. Looking good so far. Gonna let that dry, come out and give it another coat. It's been about a half an hour since the first coat, so I'm gonna put the second coat on now. let that dry and then unmask it okay it's been a good half an hour this paint is dry to the touch and it takes 24 hours to dry but let's have a look at it and see what we got here so let's take off the tape and see how it looks It's pretty good. It's a nice crisp line in there. There's the final product. It's not too bad. Looks nice and sharp. Should look good on the vehicle when everything is back together. That wasn't too bad for a couple hours work. Moving on to get the sidewall cleaned and hopefully the lettering whitened a little bit. I'm going to be using a few basic tools. I'm going to be using this scrub brush. This scrub brush, which is a little bit coarser. I'm going to try this product. And I'm also going to try this product as well. As a final finishing step, I'm going to use this Simonized Foaming Tire Care. I don't want it to be too shiny, so this leaves kind of a nice matte finish on it. So the first I'm going to do is hose it down and then start scrubbing.
gonna let that sit for a minute. Try another product on it. That's it. I like to keep all my stuff in one location. And that way when I need it, I can just grab it. Hey everyone, that concludes the video on how to refresh your Corvette tires. I just have three more to do. So once again, this included how to polish the aluminum. I use the mother's mag and aluminum polish for that. Uh, I also repainted the inner black circle showed you how to do that and how I do it and also finished up with refreshing the rubber on the outside including the, the black and the white lettering. Hopefully you found it useful. It's not really too hard. It takes about an hour or so per wheel. A little bit of effort but it looks good and will last for a little bit. If you like this video hit the subscribe button and be sure to tune in for the next videos which could be anything from doing the parking brakes on the Corvette or installing the mufflers in the back end or doing a complete front overhaul of the suspension including the control arms, control arm bushings, upper and lower ball joint, tie rods, um, tie rod adjusters and then after that I'm going to get into doing some of the steering components as well. So stick around and we'll catch you all in the next one.